I'm Scott Allen Miller. It's the 12th of October, 2022. This is my vlog of daily life in Central America. We are today in San Jose, Costa Rica. We're staying at the Chill Out Hostel, Hostel, which is just behind me a little bit. And we are walking to find some breakfast. I'm actually recording this in real time, first thing in the morning. And uh, it is much better this morning than last night. We had a rather interesting night getting in. Uh, and look at these beautiful apartments over here. This is really nice. This is a much larger city and very windy this morning. Uh, and this, I want to point out as we come by, this is where Dominic and I did dinner last night. Really nice place. Hola! Oh, you're on the show, YouTube! <laughs> All right, we had dinner there last night. We had a mix of Vietnamese and uh, kind of a Costa Rican Mexican food. It was really good, really nice place. And uh, this is our first time seeing San Jose in the daylight. Our adventures last night, we got in in the dark uh, and so didn't really get to see a lot. And in the dark, you really only see the bars on the windows. This is a much more dangerous city than we're used to in Nicaragua. Nicaragua being just incredibly safe. Costa Rica is not particularly dangerous, but uh, in comparison to Nicaragua, you really do notice very quickly just how much more bars there are on everything here and how much more locked in you are. Uh, we had a good night at the at the hostel last night. Pretty comfortable. We don't need air conditioning or anything here because it is this is a big open space. I would not expect this in the middle of the city. That's actually pretty cool. And I uh, uh, don't need air conditioning because it gets so cool. We got down to 16 degrees last night, and it's only about 22 right now here. So it's very nice. This is so comfortable. Uh, it's a it's a nice break and everyone gets to wear pants and stuff today that's pretty cool like we don't do that very often in Nicaragua you never bother uh, so this morning I had to get up and work I had several hours of meetings so it was a very busy morning I was able to work from the hostel internet speeds are noticeably so much slower than we are used to in Nicaragua where everything is so fast all the time Wow, was that painful to try to work but we are off to find breakfast now we're going to the cafe Olteca in walking distance from our hostel and uh, doing our first exploring of the city. So we are going to keep walking and uh, catch up with you a little bit later. All right, we just had breakfast, lunch, brunch here at Cafe Oleteca. It was fantastic, really good coffee and food. Everybody got uh, eggs Benedict, except for Dominica, and uh, she got an omelet, but very nice, very chill, modern cafe. And uh, yeah, so that was our lunch. We're heading back to the hostel so everybody can chill for a while. And uh, yeah, we're, we're trying to make this a bit of a relaxing day. I'm probably gonna come out and do filming. Hopefully I don't get stuck doing a bunch of work work and I'm able to get some of the city for you guys. But this is our start to the day. So heading back to the hostel. So we're staying in the Barrio Escalante and after doing lunch, we came back and dropped off the kids, uh, did a little bit in the room, and then Dominica and I decided to go out and deal with some errands, which is primarily getting cash because we didn't have any uh, local Costa Rican money and not too much of a problem. This is a country that tends to work pretty heavily off of credit cards, but it is nice to have some cash. And surprisingly, our hotel, well, our hostel requires cash. So had to deal with that, but not a big deal. ATM at the uh, local grocery store. Hola. <laughs> and uh, uh, and it's just BAC, same bank as back home. There, I think they're actually based here. Uh, so very easy. Just went in, got cash, so we were able to pay for the hotel. But we were at the supermarket, so we did uh, check it out. Uh, it's the fresh market here in Escalante, and uh, I'm gonna turn this camera around. It's a neat neighborhood. I'm in the middle of Escalante. So there's some like really nice houses, tons of restaurants. This is a great barrio. Like I'm loving this now that we're getting a little bit of time and have been walking around all day. It's not huge. There's about 16 blocks or so. Um, lots of beautiful graffiti, some open spaces, lots of really cool buildings. It's, it's a neat area. And something that, that Dominic and I were talking about because we're out walking is just how much you get this totally different style 
of housing up in the mountain towns because you don't have to have the big open air colonial structures like Leon or Granada have where you have to be short and sprawling to be able to get enough airflow to stay cool. But here you can do much more Northern European style houses when you want to at least. And uh, also gonna swing this around. Lots of stuff for sale all over the place. Some pretty cool locations here, but these houses are really quite nice and extensive. So uh, yeah, this barrio just full of, of so many good looking restaurants, bistros and cafes and fancy restaurants and bars. And uh, it's, it's really cool. And uh, hola. And uh, so we, we checked out a lot of menus as we were walking back. But while, so we were at the grocery store. I did one of my short films just showing off the grocery store. You guys tend to like that. I'm always, I mean, I, I guess I'm not really surprised at the fact that that kind of stuff is really popular because I love going to grocery stores when I'm in different countries. You learn a lot about a country from being in their grocery store. So I just want to show off, this is a corner that these are all restaurants, Colonia, The Kitchen, Mamba, Delirio, and uh, this one, I don't know what it's called, but uh, we were told it was highly recommended for typical food. Nice houses around, uh, but Mamba right here, we're expecting to come to for dinner. They have a bunch of pasta options that Chana is really excited about, and the kitchen has fish and chips. So we're just, every restaurant we find seems to have a lot of really good options. And the weather is just so nice. We have had rain probably about half the day, but it's this really light drizzle. At no point was there enough rain that it was a problem going out and uh, walking around. So that's been, that's been fantastic. And the weather is really nice as well. And it's one of the things I like about neighborhoods like this is that every, every street is full of restaurants and cafes, but there's housing mixed in. So like you could live in the middle of all this. This is actually, someone's pulling in right here. Uh, this would actually remind you a little bit of Los Robles in Managua, but you know, I think, think it goes without saying it's a bit fancier and certainly quite a bit more expensive um, and even more restaurants, uh, of course. And then this is, this is a preschool here. Look how cute that is. Wow. And then another restaurant, Coco Roco. And uh, okay, sorry, I have to swing this around so much, but these are some really cool houses. And this place is for sale. What a cute home. This could be your home. This is the kind of stuff we want to show on Central American Living, which I am trying to get the links out for those of you who haven't found it. It's only got a couple subscribers so far. I mean, it's still only one minute of content. It's going to be a week before I'm home and have time to get anything else posted. But yeah, get out there and subscribe. We got to get to 100 subscribers before we're able to grab the name as part of the link. And uh, that'll make it easier to find. And uh, so we got to get past that point to kind of get the ball rolling. Uh, but we'll have some more videos up soon. And I'm really looking forward to when April and I are coming down here to, or yeah, down here to San Jose. This is going to be a lot of, and I've known this, right? San Jose is going to be a very large portion of the show just naturally because so much interesting housing and uh, home design and furnishing and style and architecture options exist here that uh, is, is unique for the region, San Jose being one of the most important cities in all of Central America uh, and a beta world city. So very, uh, very important place to be. I'm kind of coming up on the edge of the neighborhood and pretty soon I'm gonna be turning. So I'm doing this walk uh, and talk. I'm coming back after I'd been down here earlier today with, with the family, and I'm heading out to explore more of the city outside of the barrio, uh, Escalante, so that uh, we know how to get to other places, um, how safe it is to walk, how long it'll take, uh, and all that kind of stuff. So that is, that is my plan right now, out in the rain, just a little bit of rain though, and I think it's gonna work out just fine. This, by the way, is a house for sale. We saw this as we were walking back. Look how fast these cars come though. That has one major difference with Nicaragua. People drive so fast here. This is the most gorgeous house. That is a security booth in the front. It is for sale. Or maybe it's the place next door that's for sale. This place is amazing. That is a huge mansion. And then maybe it's just this smaller greenhouse that's for sale. 
still what a great location and I'm walking towards whatever this thing is it looks like a Duomo but I don't know I don't know my my buildings my edificios in San Jose unfortunately so I can't give you like landmarks to be like oh I know what this is I'm just I can tell from the skyline I just I don't know don't know the city at all so we're exploring Luchana's kind of interested in going to the zoo which the kids have not wanted to go to a zoo in a really long time and that she's just all of a sudden like wait there's a zoo I'm like well yeah of course there's a zoo she's like I want to go I'm like really oh then when they were little they love zoos but it's been a long time this is an interesting string decoration thing going on I hope you can see that on the video because that's pretty cool so uh so and I went we, we checked out the grocery store sorry I'm jumping around a lot in my stories and flow of the day but we went and checked out the grocery store uh, which was really nice and fancy surprised a little bit by just how fancy the grocery is it was kind of like when we were in Kiev in Ukraine the grocery stores were incredibly fancy like nothing we would find in the US I mean certainly nothing like we would find in Nicaragua not that our grocery stores aren't fancy at all but La Colonia being about the fanciest thing you're gonna find is nice but I wouldn't call it incredibly fancy when I started this but definitely the fresh market in our barrio here is outrageously fancy really high-end food items lots of prepared food that we want to check out look at my short video where I just I filmed part of the grocery store and uh, it is it is pretty cool so uh we we got a bunch of food from there like uh, local stuff chips and uh they had chip dips um some bread items and just just some different things we collected and once we were we got our cash yes i'm back to where we got our cash in case you forgot how i jumped around in my stories and walked back to the the, the hostel where the kids were staying um and then we just went into the atrium and hung out for a little while and ate snacks now Liesl was feeling sick from uh, our lunch at the at the uh, coffee shop and bakery but we think that is oh my gosh look at the mountains in the distance how cool is that what a great view this is the first that we've had a view like that since we've been here so see if I can cross this road traffic here is definitely so much more dangerous than Nicaragua and the I don't know how much you can tell but the sidewalks have these really deep waterways next to them it's actually hard to step places parroquia santa teresita del niño jesus and i don't know what this building is over here looks kind of industrial but it's probably just a design it's probably actually an office building but it looks like a manufacturing facility so i'm gonna do my best to get a couple shots of this church over here but we're awfully close to it so it's hard hard to get for you but I'm gonna turn around just grab this that is a very cool church all right so we hung so Lisa was feeling kind of sick she has a uh, high lactose intolerance we think she got too much like butter uh, and milk in the chocolate while oh here great view um so we kind of raced back to the hostel and dropped them off and then Dominica and I went and did our errands on our own I hope this turns out in the video because this is really cool it's hard to see it from this angle that dome in the back is really fantastic this is a really cool church all right Heading back and uh, continuing on. Cool bar on the corner here, the Buenos Aires. And uh, turn you back around. Look at that really cool house right there. People waving. And uh, all right, we're gonna come back after we cross the intersection. All right, we're on the other side, just much easier to cross when I'm not filming and uh, yeah, hopefully this gives you a bit of a view of the city. So we got Liesl back, too much butter, and uh, then Dominic and I went out and did our errands. So we came back and hung out in the atrium and just tried some of the snacks, uh, which the, oh, oh, what a cool house. Hope you can see it as we go by. That's gonna be very hard to get a good view. A little bit there, very cool. 
neat stuff mixed all through there really is and uh uh it was really good and the the thing that was really amazing is the dos pinos smoked salmon chip dip that was so good uh but liesel couldn't have any because it's dairy so she said she wants us to go tomorrow and get an entire thing of it just for her when she's feeling better so we'll be doing that and uh oh definitely more downtowny feeling here got lots of little shops Ooh, look at the desserts hola <laughs> and uh so that is the plan we'll be doing that later and uh then our plan tonight i'm just going to go for a walk and uh film as much as i can to give you guys a feel for this interesting city what gorgeous big trees we have down there and uh, then we'll go out for dinner tonight and that is really just about it so i'm going to i have other episodes that i have to film i'm going to zip back and do that film yesterday's completion actually and then come back and uh, show you some of the walk today as i plan to go a bit of a way so that i can see a bit of the city and i want to know what the walk is like down to the museums so heading off now hold on i'm just gonna zip over here Haha, <laughs> look, I didn't have to spin it around. I'm going to zip off and do that now. We'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, I had to switch filming. I had some camera issues, like severe camera issues, and luckily got some uh, time warp footage for you guys, but lost a lot of what I was talking about. I did a pretty long recording, so it's not that big of a deal that I got cut off to some degree. Overall, I'm liking the city a lot. I'm really enjoying my walk today. After I got back from walking all through the city and checking out large swaths, of san jose for y'all i uh, got back to the hotel hung out for just a little while got things charging got the gopro plugged in did a lot of maintenance because the gopro was not working and uh then dominic and i went and did uh grocery shopping um which i don't think i've mentioned for you guys yet wow it's hard to keep track of what i have and haven't done when doing the videos because it gets it gets tough for sure uh we picked up food came back did snacks with the kids uh they really enjoyed that it's always fun doing the grocery store thing i may have done that before i did the video like sorry if things are all convoluted and out of control uh today i'm going to talk about it tomorrow but today we did a bunch of negotiations talked to paul and we bought a car uh today so today's the day we actually bought it uh, it's already in our possession we already have it and uh that's gonna make a lot of difference here on the channel i'm going to be able to drive lots of places that you guys want to see that otherwise would be like a really big effort to go to or like take a ridiculous amount of time or be very very difficult for me to take like the camera gear or whatever now i can throw stuff in the trunk drive somewhere film and and drive back right it, and instead of it being like a four or five hour major ordeal i could do it in 45 minutes kind of thing so i'm excited that i'm going to be able to get a lot of new types of footage for you guys really soon it's going to make it way easier to be doing the uh drive warp show because i'm going to have a permanent setup with the the camera on for drive warp all that kind of stuff that's going to be great looking forward to that and uh I'm gonna, i showed this earlier but such a cool building here and uh so once we were done for the evening, once I got the camera in, we had done our snack stuff, we got the car, and our day was over. Um, Dominic and I had done some scouting while we were walking around, and we found this place, Mamba, that we thought looked really good for dinner. Liesl was not feeling up to going out tonight. She just, she was feeling sick all day. And so uh, Luchana came out with Dominic and I and the three of us, which like we never do. So that was kind of neat. Luchana never gets to be the only kid out with us. Lisa will sometimes do that. She'll be like, I want to do things. And Chana tends to hang back. But, and Chana and I will do things, but like for the three of us to go, very rare, very rare. Uh, so we went to Mamba, which is an Italian restaurant, high end, fancy Italian, really nice. We had an amazing dinner. Luchana got a salmon and asparagus pasta, which was a little bit sweet in a, in a creamy tomato sauce. It was good. I tried just a bite. And Dominica got a glazed salmon filet, and I got an herb-crusted uh, salmon filet. We're all into the salmon because there's so much salmon here in Costa Rica, and there's so little in Nicaragua. It's we, we kind of go salmon crazy when we're here. And uh, it was a really fantastic dinner. I managed to order a uh, liqueur 43 for the first time, which may sound crazy. Some of you are going to be like, I've never heard of that. And the other part of you are going to be like, you, you've never had that. Uh, but it is a uh, Spanish aperitif that I've been wanting to get for a long time. But so few places serve it. You never see it in Nicaragua. You never, almost never see it in the States. 
here in this region or in Spain, like it's pretty common. So they, ha I'm like, I'm getting that. And Dominica had never heard of it. She tried it. She was like, wow, this is fantastic because it's a vanilla forward uh, aperitif. So that was really nice. Um, and uh, uh, so we had a really nice dinner. It's absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend Mamba if you're here in uh, Escondido and uh, es Escaleras. Wow, it's hard to get these names right. And uh, doing all the, I can do one shot on these recordings normally, right? So like you get, you get what you get. Um, and uh, then when we were done from there, we didn't get dessert there. We went on to uh, Booze and Scoops or Scoops and Booze, one or the other, and got, which they do uh, alcoholic ice cream. They have normal ice cream too. Luciana got a cookie ice cream. Dominica got a peanut butter honey bourbon ice cream. And I got a, um, if I can remember, amaretto liqueur with um, Nutella and I think it was mostly Nutella, Nutella and Amaretto. It was all pretty good. We liked it a lot. Luciana really enjoyed it. Uh, she thought it was pretty fantastic. Um, I think next time I will just get, I wanted to get the non-alcoholic Smurf ice cream because I really like, some regions call it Smurf. We call it bubblegum in the US. Was that blue flavor with bubblegum in it. I really like that. There's no alcohol in it, but I just that's just what I like, right? I don't actually need alcohol in my ice cream. It's not very often a flavor combination I look for. Uh, it's raining on me a bit now, so I'm starting to head back, but that was pretty much our day. Once we were done getting ice cream, we walked back a little bit to our hostel here, which we're enjoying a lot. The girls are liking it. And uh, I worked more on getting the uploads working, hoping that we get something done. I'm really worried about the status of the GoPro. I've got to make it three more months before I can get a GoPro 11, so I really can't have is it three months? No, it's only two and a half months now. It's already October. Wow. Um, and uh, But I need to make it two and a half months before I can be in the States and get the GoPro 11, which I will do my best to have ordered and waiting for me because I'm not going to take the GoPro 9 with me. It's going to be going up without a GoPro coming back with the 11. That is the plan. Just you wait. And uh, that's where we are. So having a good day here in San Jose. We'll be here for two more days before we head back on the bus. We may, if the, we have air conditioning problems on the bus this time, we're getting picked up at the border in our brand new, brand new car and uh, doing things the luxurious way. But if the air conditioning's there, we're gonna continue on and use the bus that we've already paid for. Uh, and that's about it. Thanks for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe. Ask questions below, leave your comments. What do you think of San Jose? What do you want to see next time that I'm here? Uh, which is going to be a lot, right? This is, we're enjoying this. And while there's some frustrations at some points and yesterday's thing with the terminal was wow, but now that we have a car, it's a different game. Um, it's going to make Costa Rica that much more accessible for us. What do you guys want to see? What's the exciting stuff that we need to do? Uh, share with your friends, post on social media. Take a second to promote the channel. It's really appreciated. And you can you can support the channel directly with that buy me a coffee link down below. And you know, I go out for coffee. Like it's a real thing. You're buying me actual coffee. I, I need a lot of caffeine to be able to do this show. I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm not animated naturally. This requires coffee to do this. I don't just wake up like this. I drink a lot of coffee. And then we're able to do this. Thanks for joining me. I will see all of you from San Jose, Costa Rica tomorrow.